Hello and welcome back campers. My name is Ms. McIntosh. I'm so excited for you guys, grades three, four, and five. Okay, with that being said, we're gonna talk about similes today, okay? Our standard is I can determine the meaning of words and phrases as they are used in a text, including figurative language, such as metaphors and similes. Okay, boys and girls, I know you've heard about similes and metaphors before, but we're just gonna do a quick review on similes today. What is a simile? Can anybody tell me? I see Kayla. Okay, Kayla, what is a simile? Right, Kayla, you said a simile compares two things by saying that, saying that one is like the other. Similes often use the words like or as. You want to jot that down in your notebook, boys and girls? Go ahead and write a simile equals like or as. It often uses those words like or as. Okay. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to give you an example. The cat's fur was as dark as the night sky. The cat's fur was as dark as the night sky. We used, to, we used our word using the word as. Okay, which means, who can tell me what that simile means? Okay, I see some of you are thinking. Okay, Jasmine. Jasmine, you are so right. It means that the night sky is very dark. So the simile suggests that the cat's fur is also very dark. So it means that the cat's fur is dark like the night sky. Okay? Now let's look at a metaphor, boys and girls. A metaphor compares two things by saying that one of them is the other. I like the similes. Metaphors do not use like or as, okay? Similes use the words like or as. The metaphors do not use like or as at all. Okay, example. The snow form, example of a metaphor. The snow form they blanket over the town. The snow formed a blanket over the town. Okay, let's think about that metaphor there. Okay, which means, do we have anyone to, to um, give me that answer? Okay, Mauricio, I'm listening. You are so right, which means a blanket is a large piece of cloth that completely covers a bed. So the metaphor makes the reader imagine that the snow is a blanket covering the town, okay? So the metaphor compares two things and it makes it seem as if, the metaphor makes the reader imagine that the snow is a blanket covering the town. Remember, boys and girls, my favorite campers, similes and metaphors are figures of speech that compares two things that are not alike. Using similes and metaphors in your writing can help you create an interesting picture for the reader. Eva, was, here's another example. Eva was like a rocket in Saturday's track race. So that's what, a metaphor or simile? Right, that's a simile. Eva was like a rocket in Saturday's track race. Rockets move so move fast. So this simile here is suggesting that Eva ran fast in the race. Boys and girls, I want you to always believe in yourself. Remember that you are the greatest. Remember to stay safe and stay focused and see you tomorrow.